Alright everyone, so welcome back to another video. So today is just a quick video. I'm going to show you how to actually use your own wallpapers on the newer Android 12 based join head units. So there's a few steps necessary. It's not quite as easy as you think. Now you can download live wallpapers from the Google Play Store and use them. But as we all know, Joing has this kind of unique feature where there's a day and a night mode when you turn your headlights on. Obviously, when they're off, we have our day color. When they're on, we have our night colors. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need to prepare a thumb drive. And in the root directory of the thumb drive, you're going to want to put a folder called wallpapers and type it just like I've done here and then with inside of that folder you're going to create two more folders one's going to be called day and one is going to be called night that's important you know the resolution on your head unit so if you don't know how to get to that you can go into the settings system and if we look about here right here it says screen you can see it says 1280 by 800 so then what you need to do is either create or download wallpaper that is whatever pixels your display is. So in my case, 1280 by 800, you can go on the web, do a picture search for 1280 by 800 wallpaper, or again, or whatever your resolution is, and get a handful of ones that you want for your day. So after you make the folder for day, and night, you want to create another folder inside of it first with the resolution. So to paste them inside of that folder. So now, same thing in the night. To create a folder. Because what we're trying to match is if we look in the local storage, where it puts them is there's a folder called QZD data, wallpapers, day, and then obviously it's got our 19, you know, our different resolutions. So these are the ones that are in here from the factory. So now we will go into the wallpaper app. Let's go to wallpaper. And we're gonna click import. We're gonna hit the search button. It's gonna find them on our thumb drive there. And we just click start copying. Now it's copied them all. So now obviously we're in night mode. All those wallpapers we imported are now here as choices for our dark wallpaper, obviously. So that's kind of going for the green theme but you can do whatever you want. Okay, so now to set our daytime, I'll just turn the headlights off. And I'll switch day color, and now all those have appeared here. Again, they can be whatever you want. The key is, I wanted something that kind of looks good with, you know, in day mode, all the text is black. So if you have a black background, you're not going to see anything. And then night mode, all the text turns white, so you need a darker background. So hopefully that makes sense. So here's our day mode. Then we flip to night mode, you know. You could almost make some variation of the same wallpaper. Just depending on like how creative you want to get. It's night mode. Day mode. Depending on how dark you want it to be. I just think the white was way too bright that was on there. 
But this is easy. You can do this anytime. You don't have to do any kind of firmware flash to get this. So that's all there is to it. If it was helpful, like the video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Until next time, thanks for watching.